In San Antonio Public Libraries, the internet is free and unrestricted. And it's helpful because I don't have a computer. Michelle Pfeiffer is searching the web for work. And when you go looking for jobs, you have to come and apply online. But what Pfeiffer didn't realize is you can also look for porn. The library, it's supposed to be for jobs and for your Facebook, important things. Porn is not important. The library does not filter their internet, so they can't stop people from accessing porn, but they do patrol it. We do have to let people access information. Again, if they are doing something that is either illegal or disturbing to other customers, then we will ask them to stop it. San Antonio Public Library spokeswoman Beth Graham says it has happened, but it's rare. The last time we did a survey of internet use in the libraries, we found that less than one quarter of one percent of the sites were even questionable. The library has a policy all users have to agree to before searching the web. But in Arizona, state lawmakers have taken it one step further. A new law gives the state power to pool a library's funding if they do not filter out obscene content. Oh, it's it's key to democracy. It's key to having engaged citizenry. Lumen Chaka is against the kind of censorship the law in Arizona requires. And yeah, you take the risk of uh, having people abuse it, but I think that's the only way it can work. But Pfeiffer still worries about kids who may walk by. And whatever they do at their house, you know, that's a different story, but this is out in public. A public space that she says needs more protection. Grace White, Fox News at 9.